it is very important to analyze this map. Uh, speaking about civilization and legal civilization, what we can see on the map is the following. We can see the violation of the international law by the Turkish fleet. What is the international law? The international law is a way that we can produce legal civilization. And what the legal civilization of international law provides for Article 2, Paragraph 4, that does not allow the state to use force. Therefore, when a state uses its military forces in order to solve dispute, then we have not only the violation of the international law, but also the violation of our civilization. Therefore, we should find the ways to resolve our problems and dispute by using peaceful means. When I was a child, I used to live in an apartment near the ceasefire line of Cyprus. Through my window, I could see Pendadactylos mountain with the Turkish flag on, often thinking about Pendadactylos myth tradition, where the Byzantine hero Digenis Akridas came to free Cyprus from its Arakin invaders. The myth tradition claims that Akridas hand gripped the mountain to get out of the sea. His handprint marked the mountain's land to remind Cypriots about resistance and freedom. On July 20th, 1974, about 40,000 Turkish soldiers, backed by the Turkish Air Force and the Turkish Navy, raided and illegally invaded the Republic of Cyprus territory, violating the Charter of the Security Council of the United Nations. Until mid-August, Turks captured 37% of the Republic of Cyprus territory and established an amapet state called Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, leaving the country and its capital city Nicosia divided in two. With the Turkish invasion, the hospitals of the Republic of Cyprus could not cope with the number of victims of repeated rapes, leaving thousands of young girls, mothers and grandmothers undergoing treatment. Almost 1,000 underwent abortion. Mothers lost their children, and some are still missing persons. Others never managed to bury them. The fear, the trauma, and the memories occupied the souls of whomever has undergone the trajectory of such tragedy. Turkey was found guilty several times by the European Commission of Human Rights for displacement of persons, deprivation of liberty, ill treatment, deprivation of life, deprivation of possessions, and genocide. 46 years later, the issue between Turkey's illegal occupation, their constant abuse of power, and the threat to the land remains current. Not only through its occupation, but also by extracting illegal gas from the sea. Since 2016, Turkey has invaded Syria and Iraq with similar excuses. 
and it even supports the territories in the region. I grew up undergoing the consequences of the Turkish invasion and the British colonization. The feeling for resistance and freedom is carved in my bones. I still feel the resistant urge alive inside me. I still remember witnessing, in closer distance, through my window, the backyard of the horse racing club of Cyprus, where horses are treated before competitions. I could see the horses rejecting, hesitating, staggering, resisting the driver's reins, urging the horse to move and obey. The driver's weeping made the horses search for wildness and freedom rise day by day. Sometimes the horses were furious and difficult to manage because their need to feel their land's fresh grass remained in their minds. I remember clearly one day when one of the horses managed to make its own revolution and left the stall. It was such a big scandal. A horse running free and wild in the streets of Ayos Omedios, just where the ceasefire line is. I remember witnessing the horse's hair moving elegantly in the air, like the Greek and Cypriot flags. Like the wind that moves beyond borders, matter humans unjust and directions but instead moves like the wind moves creating a dance with the leaves <laughs> 